half tights, or one might say the distinguished runner's choice of bottom wear. Bottom wear. Yeah, we'll go with that. When it comes to the debate between wearing split shorts or just shorts in general versus half tights for running, training, or even racing. I used to run exclusively in shorts when it came to running, but as soon as I tried my first pair of half tights, I was changed for the rest of my life. So now, with many different things in the realm of running gear, I'm constantly on the hunt for the answer to the question, what is the best pair of half tights? Now there are three things that go into making a half tight great, in my eyes at least. Those three things in no particular order are comfort. First of all, I wanna feel like I'm wearing nothing, but obviously I'm wearing something. That would be, you know, a big time legal issue if I wasn't, but of course I'm wearing something, but it should feel like I'm not. The half tight needs to feel like an extension of your skin. So when you're out on the run, there shouldn't be any chafing, any discomfort with the fabric, anything that's pinching you too much in certain areas and not supporting you enough in others. It needs to simply feel like a second skin to you, as gross as that might sound. The second priority with half tight selection for me is storage capacity. Now you can't go overboard with this or else your shorts will literally fall off of you. If you're trying to store 32 ounces of fluid along with an iPhone 14 Pro and 40 gels, you're gonna have an issue no matter what half tight you're wearing. But it's important that you have storage capabilities. So whether that's pockets at the side or the back or on the inside of the waistband, there needs to be some sort of storage, especially for those of us running marathons and above that require some sort of nutrition. And the third priority, I'm just gonna say appearance. The first pair of half tights I ever bought, which may be not even considered half tights in some people's eyes, they may be more in line with like compression shorts to some people, uh, are regardless the Nike Pros, which now, that I'm waving them in my face. I remember I just wore these for my run this morning and I'm getting a bit of a whiff of the hard work I did earlier. Nike Pros are seamless when it comes to that quality of being an extension of your body. The unfortunate thing is that this is an iteration from a couple years ago. They've held up great, but they no longer have this iteration. And you can tell that it's changed by the way it looks on the website. They always change the waistband with each version of the Nike Pro tights. And a lot of people in the review section have complained about the current Nike Pro tights. But these ones are amazing. The waistband hugs you just enough. Everything you need to be supported is supported in the right areas. And it makes you feel fast and comfortable. That's what you wanna feel while you're running. The only issue with these is first, they do leave little to the imagination. In some cases, if you're moving slow enough or just standing still, you know, you might wanna select another one if you're a bit shy out on the run. But in addition to that, there's absolutely no storage. So there's no zipper pocket in the back or on the sides or on the inside. They're literally kind of like a compression short that you just wear out there perfect for summer running, probably will leave you a little chilly in cooler temperatures. But this was the first pair of half tights that I ever bought and made me fall in love with them in the first place. So if you need a very low profile, easy, accessible pair of half tights, I would recommend the Nike Pros. The next pair of half tights that I purchased, one of my favorite pairs, are the Jonji Groundwork Half Tights. I believe these are seven or eight inches at the inseam. They go right above your knee and they are absolutely wonderful. My only gripe with these is that the fabric on them is a bit like wet sooty and doesn't exactly wick away moisture. So if you're going out for a long run and you're sweating a lot, or if you're running in the rain, these almost feel like you're wearing a bathing suit at times and they just seem to hold a decent bit of moisture. But these, like the Nike Pros, are an older iteration. I've heard Kafuzi talk about the newer ones and that the fabric have been upgraded a little bit. So uh, probably less complaints with the newer ones, but I still love these. And one of the big reasons for that, as I've ran multiple half marathons and marathons in them, is that storage capacity. So on the back, 
you have a massive pocket here that some people can probably fit their phones in. I couldn't fit mine in there, but you can fit a multitude of gels in there. Two pockets on each side as well. So a big mesh pocket as well as a slightly smaller one on both sides of your leg. So I've been able to carry six to eight gels as well as my phone on the side pocket and whatever else I need in the back from anywhere to an easy everyday training run up to 26.2 miles for the marathon. This is a great pair of half tights if you prioritize something that's comfortable and something that has a lot of storage capacity. These don't have an inner liner, some running tights do, and they seem to operate fine without that inner liner. Everything seems to be held in place fine, and I really do enjoy these, but still I was looking for a little bit more after buying these, but I still think they're very capable half tight. Now the next pair of half tights I bought were a bit of a disappointment. So I would rank these third out of the three we've looked at, the Nike Aeroswift tights. And that may be controversial to some people, but I would say they didn't do everything they promised to do. They promised to have a nice big pocket in the back that could hold a phone. When I did try that pocket out, my phone barely fit and it didn't support me enough to the point where my tights started to fall down a little bit on the run. So I would not rely on these if you plan on shoving a phone in your back pocket, but it does have that storage along with two pockets in the front and back that will hold some gel. So five total pockets in the Nike Aeroswift tights. These are my favorite material wise. I think the Aeroswift material is great for both cool and warm temperatures, very comfortable on the skin. But the thing I ran into with these that I didn't like was that inner brief liner. This thing chafed me, rubbed against my skin. It may be just me because I see other people loving these, but just this inner liner did not agree with me. And it's ultimately the reason why I didn't wear these for my most recent marathon. I hope these would be my marathon tights, but over the course of a long run, it just got really uncomfortable. Other than that, if you can get a pair without that inner liner, I would definitely recommend these. They have a nice ability to tighten them up, get a nice, you know, dialed in fit along your waist. But um, yeah, these were not what they were cracked up to be and would rank third so far on my list of half tights. But decent amount of storage, decent amount of comfort, just not for me. The next pair, sort of similar to the Nike Aeroswift, are the Nike Trail Tights, which for some reason also have an inner liner. I thought I would get around that. Also the reason I didn't run in these for my most recent marathon, but I think are still very comfortable. They seem to also suffer from that sort of bathing suit, typical spandex, not wicking away moisture, that great sort of problem that I had with the John G groundwork tights, but it makes up for it in a great amount of storage. So you have that typical two gel pockets in the back, one on the internal portion of the tight, along with some loops for poles if you're doing some trail running, and again, a waistband with a draw cord so you can dial in that fit. These run a little bit long, so I like a tight to be, you know, two or three inches above my knee usually. These went all the way down to my knee, which just was a weird sensation on the run and that I didn't love that much. These are always heavily on discount, so if you have long femurs or long thighs and feel like you need a bit more coverage when it comes to a half tight, uh, these are always on sale on the Nike website, and I would recommend them to people who don't mind an inner brief liner and want a lot of storage. So Nike trail tights, these would probably be last on my list of half tights. And finally, saving the best for last. This was my choice for my most recent marathon and my favorite pair of half tights I've ever used, the Tracksmith Reggie tights. Now Tracksmith offers an unlined and a lined option. I went for the unlined option because of my eternal war with inner brief liners and half tights, and they work great. They have one pocket on the back, and it fits my iPhone 12 perfectly. And the great thing about it is it holds it really close to your body, so there's no shaking, jiggling, moving around on the run. They worked great over the course of a couple long runs and my full 26.2 mile marathon race. The other great thing about these is Tracksmith with their fabric blend has a sort of like anti-odor thing going on. So you can use these multiple times without washing them, of course, as long as they sort of dry from your sweat and other things that come out of your skin. 
they don't smell. So if you're someone who isn't trying to wash things every single day, this is a great pair that you could use multiple times a week with only one wash at the end of the week. And the fabric is so, so comfortable. I think they call it their Italian blend on the Tracksmith site, and I absolutely love them. I was a little concerned when I got them because they do not have uh, any ties around the waist to sort of dial in that fit. I ordered a medium. I'm typically like a 31 inch or 32 inch waist when it comes to pants and shorts and everything. I got the mediums and they fit absolutely perfectly, like the perfect amount of glove-like fit you could want. And they made me believe that Tracksmith is definitely worth it. And in terms of pricing, the Reggie half tights, the unlined version, are pretty much in the ballpark of all these other tights. So I would say these are very much so worth your money when it comes to looking for a great pair of half tights. So the Reggie half tights from Tracksmith, they win the half tight title. And I absolutely love them and will continue to wear them until they literally fall off. Hopefully not while I'm on the run. So what's your favorite pair of half tights? Do you prefer half tights over shorts or are you a split short person? Let me know down in the comments. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Peace.